Roger. Roger. Active. Roger. Booster Hydraulics, LC. Go ahead. Proceed. Roger. R-22, as gas concentration levels acceptable. Roger. We have some very important and excited guests with us today at the ASOC awaiting this historic launch. This is Atlas Mission Control, a T minus 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Atlas engine ignition, zero, and liftoff of the Lockheed Martin Atlas V rocket carrying the first satellite for the countries of Greece and Cyprus. Let's listen now to Rob Gannon as he provides launch vehicle ascent data from the ASOC Engineering Operations Center here at Cape Canaveral. into it, passing through max Q. And everything looks good. We are now starting our 95% thrust throttle phase. Engine did uh, adjust the throttle setting as expected. Everything looks good. And vehicle rates continue to look good. Smoothing out after Max Q. Expect to be activating steering in approximately 10 seconds. Engine operating normally. Everything looks good. And we have steering enabled right on time. Rates look good. The throttle segment, everything looks good there. Coming up on shutdown, we have stop boost phase chill down, and BECO, and we have fairing separation, both brake wires indicate a good, our engine continues to operate normally, everything looking good. We are now 98 miles in altitude. 346 miles downrange, traveling at 11,300 miles per hour. Taking a quick look at the range track, the vehicle is continuing to operate right down the center of the range track. Everything is looking good. 
This is Atlas Mission Control at T minus uh, or T plus uh, five minutes, 33 seconds, and counting. And everything is going very well with the flight. We had a very nominal booster engine cutoff, and uh, the uh, Atlas separated from the Centaur vehicle and main engine start. Number one uh, occurred, and the Centaur first burn is underway. It's uh, about a nine minute Centaur first burn, and the vehicle is performing as expected so far. We've had a great flight. Um, the BECO event occurred within about one second of nominal, uh, or one second of the predicted and very nominal uh, booster phase uh, performance. And the uh, Centaur, as we mentioned, uh, also uh, is performing as expected. The uh, mission is continuing as planned. We had a liftoff at 6.10 p.m. Eastern Time, and we'll continue to update you on uh, the mission as it continues. And nice smooth steady acceleration at uh, 0.85 Gs. Engine operating parameters look good. Ten seconds. We have Miko. Shutdown signatures look good. We are now in a nominal nine minute coast duration. And a quick look at our This is Atlas Mission Control at L plus fifteen minutes, thirteen seconds and counting. And Phase. We just entered a nine-minute coast, and we uh, have had an excellent vehicle performance so far. The uh, uh, booster uh, separated uh, as planned and sent our upper stage uh, performed as planned through its first burn. And as I mentioned, we're in the beginning of a coast phase. Uh, everything's looking very uh, good with the mission so far. Our vehicle performance has been excellent, and we'll continue to update you towards the end of the coast phase as we approach main engine start number two. This is Atlas Mission Control at L plus 15 minutes, 47 seconds, and counting. Now to recap the events leading up to the liftoff. The weather was picture perfect here in Florida with no constraints or concerns from the launch meteorologist. The Atlas V rocket performed as expected throughout the launch countdown. There was also a blessing of the rocket. It was the tradition of the ancient Greeks to bestow a blessing on a departing vessel for good luck, and this mission was no exception. On board Helisat, a high-powered satellite that is designed to deliver voice, internet, video, and broadcasting to Greece, Cyprus, the Balkans, and Eastern Europe. We are delighted to say that we have many distinguished and happy guests here today from around the world.